Everything seems to cost more these days, but the public sector has seen a freeze on pay increases for the past three years. But what about those who don't have a fixed monthly wage? Small businesses are feeling the pinch too, especially those who rely on people shopping for things that aren't strictly necessary. We're noticing people are definitely holding back a little bit on their expenditure. They're thinking twice before, before they actually make a purchase and they're asking for discounts more often. Are you feeling positive about the future? What's your kind of general sentiment? Uh, I've always felt positive about the future generally, but I think we're going to have uh, maybe a year or two of, of difficult times. And there's also a lot of uncertainty, Katie, with um, not knowing what's happening in terms of the, the treaty. So therefore, we don't really know how to uh, plan our future in terms of business and what we need to invest in. So that's the only issue. We have, there is uncertainty. But I think over the long period of time, I think we're quite optimistic. Especially with transport costs having gone up, um, it does affect your the end result on, on the selling price of your product. But we are trying our level best to keep it as low as we can. But we do notice it. And obviously people's shopping uh, patterns obviously change. It's more towards payday. And then it's understandable. We're all going through it, I think. And, and I empathize a lot with our customers as well. So. And you're a startup, so to start a business in this climate is quite brave. It was, and at the same time, it was very um, encouraged by the what we were seeing, what was happening with the pandemic at that time. That it was very difficult to get uh, meat-free, dairy-free, egg-free products. Um, so, kind of took the plunge, to be honest with you, and we're just persevering as much as we can. Definitely feeling it a lot more in this last year. A lot of people. Um, come in, it's spreading their appointments out, so instead of going two weeks, they're going three to four weeks, so you do feel an effect. Hopefully, now we're coming into summer, summer is a lot busier, you get a lot more tourism, um, so hopefully over the next few weeks it'll start to pick up a bit more and you'll get a bit busier, so yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed. The people now, they are spending less money, for example, before, normally a uh, family, um, they had uh, starters, main course and, and dessert. And now uh, they had uh, one startup for sharing, and main course and no desserts. And how about um, prices of food? Are you noticing that that's increased? Mm -hmm. Before we are using more uh, processed foods, vegan, like uh, vegan meat or chicken, blah, blah, blah. But now we are changed with that in that way and now we are using more uh, local products fresh we uh, we have a daily uh, menu and we are using more uh, other products than before so while small businesses are clearly feeling the effects of the cost of living crisis there is still positivity for the future and the real hope is that locals keep it local and help the economy